Hello everybody and welcome back to Matt Does. Today, my wizarding friends, we have the Geek Gear Box. I'm really excited. I, I've had this for nearly two weeks now and I haven't opened it yet. It arrived when we were away camping, so there you go, that's how long I've had it for. So I'm going to open it and see what we've got in here. I'm quite excited. I can't wait. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I was, oh, I've got, I don't know why, I have nondescript fluff all over my computer and the lighting's a bit naff in here today. I'm going to have to sort out getting some new lights. This ring light is doing my head in. I don't know. Anyway, and you like my setup. It's nice, isn't it? Right. Geek Gear Wizardry Box. So, open. And there's the top. That looks very promising. That might be it. Hello. Can you stay open? Thank you. House colour. Curly hair again. And a t-shirt. And, oh, it looks like we get a wand. But obviously, as with all the Geek Gear Boxes, we look at the t-shirt first and then put the t-shirt on. Because that's what we do. So, ugh. Oh, this is cool. And I do like the green, I must say. No foolish wand waving. How cool is that? I like that. So we'll go and put this on. And then we'll see what else is in there. This looks, oh my gosh, there's some really cool stuff in there, actually. So we're back in a mo, and uh, see what this looks like. So we're back in a second. Well, there you go. No foolish wand waving. Oh, I like it. And again with these t-shirts the print is brilliant you can tell it's it's on there it's not going to go anywhere when you wash it and the quality of the t-shirt is awesome and the fit's perfect love it right so let us manoeuvre the fluff out of the way because that's annoying i don't know what to put it in i'm going to look at this first because this is the wand i get another one for my collection is there a card? Right, they have a card that comes with the wand, but it never, never mind, it's never in the box, which I find really peculiar. Ooh, very interesting. Let's have a look. Wow, jeepers, this is, this is heavy. Whoa, holy moly, look at that. That's pretty... It's pretty epic and it's got some weight to it. I mean, you could probably do ow, some damage with that. <laughs> I really like this, but it doesn't say. These are made by a company called Unique Wands. There, that obviously make wands for, for geek gear. I know exactly what this is. That is going to be another chess piece. So I'm very excited. But so I'm trying to find a piece of paper that goes, ah, there we go, that goes with it. So, you might as well start as means form with this. It's called an obelisk wand. Core, topaz dust, and wood is maple. So there you go. There's that, if you want to have a quick read of it. And I, I, really, I really like this. And it is like an obelisk. Yeah, that is quite nifty. I'm going to have to make something to display these, because at the moment they're in the bottom of the cabinet. Or just sitting there a little bit like mm. so I'm definitely gonna have to get myself a little thing to hang them up maybe here uh, right and then we've obviously got the the August box thing so foolish waving t-shirt that's me oh okay right let's I'm not gonna I'm gonna open this first so this is the next box this is obviously a chess piece now if you've watched my other video You'll know I got a chess piece. If you haven't watched the other video, watch it after this one. Oh, you know, just, just watch it. You'll, you'll, you know, it makes sense. <gasps> I think I'm watching fireworks. <laughs> oh, how cool is that? So that's the night. Oh, wowee. That is pretty, pretty funky. I like him. So he can go with the other guy. That looks really smart. But for now, he can go there because I have to rearrange the cabinet again. Because I put more Lego in there. I've got the Harry Potter Lego sets that I got him for Christmas. And uh, they've taken up a whole shelf in the cabinet. It's a pain in the butt. Anyway, uh, I've got a pin badge. So that was, uh, yeah, a wizardry relic chess piece. This looks like a dragon pin. That looks, because you get a pin as well in every box. 
And that's a dragon with a little egg. That's cool. I do like the pins. I'm enjoying the pins. I need to find something to display the pins on as well. And display everything. So that's pretty smart. I'll get it out in a minute. This looks like a pair of socks. I think. Yeah. So what are these? Wizardry apothecary themed socks. Oh. Oh, they feel really nice as well. Ooh. You can see. I mean, the camera is not particularly. Little hat there, little potion bottles, and such little booky things. I think the little books—they're quite funky. I do like them, and I will wear them because his feet are too big now. Because he has clown feet, so I can wear the socks. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> so I do. I like that. That's very cool. Uh, the next one—I actually don't know what this is. Uh, oh my gosh, I thought, right, this, I thought this was a tea towel, because it looks like a tea towel, it's not. This is, apparently, a Wizardry One Store Tote Shopping Bag. Now, I like bags. I do like my bags. Oh, well, that, that's really quite, I like that. And it's, uh, it's got the stairs for the, uh the shop that's really cool oh i like it i can go shopping there we go lovely jubbly my socks in there yes thank you buy me socks super duper hmm. uh, last but if you can hear in the background i have my dishwasher going i do apologize but i wanted to open this i'd just taken owen to school and i was like right i'll do the dishwasher i thought get 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 I don't care. You don't care either, do you? It's life. You know, this is why you watch me, because I'm just plodding along trying to get this done professionally when we all know. <coughs> Not professional at all. I don't know what this one. This one says licensed and exclusive Quidditch World World Cup print. <laughs> Can't get out of the bubble. Lip. <laughs> oh god. It, and another thing, they package everything really well. Oh no, I really like that. That is cool. I'm going to take it out because I am going to hang this up because I like it. Straight away. The new Scamander one will be put up in Owen's room soon as well. That is awesome. The greatest magical event of the year. 422nd Quidditch World Cup. How Cool. you can actually kind of see yourself a little bit i'm sorry but there you go that is awesome i love it that could probably go up here actually i think i'm going to cover this wall in pictures because i've got the the mudbloods one which i need to put up i've got a new frida there i also got a flash comic thing that i want to this is doing my head in now a flash comic thing that I want to put up. So I think I'm going to cover this wall with pictures because I think that looks really smart. I might put there, I might put it there, I might put it there. I put it anywhere I want. So yeah, so that's it. That's a really good box. I like the t-shirt though. It's nice to have something that's not black or white. You know, a bit of green. Splash of colour. And it kind of doesn't make me look like I've got something wrong with my liver, which is good. Some colours do. Uh, yeah. Let's have a quick look at this pen while I'm, I'm here talking to you. Oh, it is, it's really nice. It's like a little dragon. It's, excuse my monkey nails, I haven't done my nails today and they're stained to hell because I paint them too much. So it's a dragon with his egg. So that can go, I like the little cards that go with it as well. Oh, there we go, it was upside down. There, now it's right, with the mountains in the background. So that can go with my other ones because I've got, I do like collecting things. It's kind of a thing, I collect a lot of stuff. I need a bigger house, really, but there we go. But all in all, that was a really good, really good box. I do like this, though. This is really cool. I will wear the socks for work today and pull my trouser leg up and go, do you like my socks? So, yeah, they're really cool. Uh, the figure, obviously, I love. So, yes, apothecary themes socks. It's brilliant. Um, on the social spotlight, it's got bits and pieces on here. 
I don't know. I think it obviously highlights somebody that does the Geek Gear boxes that's more famous than me. <laughs> Rude. This one's called at official dot caster spell, which is that girl there at the top. So that's obviously her social media thing. I'll, I'll go and have a look later. You go ahead and have a look. But remember, please remember me. Thank you. Wizard chess tournament. Uh, I don't know what that means. But you can cut that out and send it off to somewhere. Sublime station. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I do like these little things. So that is uh, Geek Girl. Geek Girl Wizardry. Um, I pay about twenty nine ninety nine a month for it. Which, you know, I don't think is that bad. If you consider how much these things cost individually. Like the t-shirts themselves probably cost about 15, 16 quid. And then, I mean, these ones, I mean, this one's, the other one I got was really nice. I like that one, but this one is really cool. I love it. So yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Um, and I need to pack all this up. I haven't got a lot of room on my table. I have been, to change the subject, the spooky season is upon us. Well, it kind of isn't changing the subject because we are still wizards and witches and things. Oh my. Um, spooky season is coming. I do love this t-shirt. It's so nice and green. And I will be doing a Halloween party this year because I haven't done one for a while. And I, I would like to be known as the Halloween party queen. Even though I probably named myself that. No one else probably agrees with me. Uh, <laughs> but I do, I, Halloween is like my favourite time of the year. So, what we will be doing is uh, decking out the house big time for the Halloween party. The theme is going to be voodoo on the bayou. Ooh, y'all. Uh, basically, I know Mardi Gras is not in October. That is um, around Easter, like February and stuff, because you have Fat Tuesday. But... I wanted to do something like Haunted Swamp, voodoo-y, Mardi Gras things. So voodoo on the bayou. So I'm kitting out my flat uh, as like a voodoo shop. And me and Owen will be the voodoo priest and priestess of the thing. <laughs> so they'll walk in and they'll think it's a little shop in the little hallway I've got here. And then when they come in here, this will be like our parlour where all the magic literally happens. So, yeah, it's going to be good fun. That's why I've been kind of like putting, I, I collect skulls, not human ones, not real ones. I'm not a serial killer yet. I do. I collect skulls and stuff. I love skeleton -y things. And um, I've been starting to put things out slowly. And I've also um, been painting jars to make them look like potion bottles and potion jars. I made this one. It's kind of green, so I haven't finished yet. But I'm probably going to do a little tutorial on that because I've got loads to do. Um, so that's probably what's going to take up a lot of October and possibly the end of September. <sighs> uh, rowing update will be coming. Um, I'll probably do that at weekend. Um, don't don't expect much. Uh, <laughs> Don't expect much. I haven't really lost any weight. Well, I think I have, but not much. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So that's all there is to it at the moment. I'm trying to think of other little things, but we're gearing up for the for Spooktober. We have a few things that we want to do, <sighs> but with this current climate, I have no idea because of COVID and stuff. It's a bit. Uh, I hope Comic-Con doesn't get cancelled in November because I have this horrible feeling that something's going to happen with a firebreak or a lockdown and I'm going to go ballistic. Because if I don't meet Jason Isaacs in November, I'm going to cry like a little girl on camera. I guarantee you I will be so upset. Um, but, <laughs> but we have got some things lined up. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to do them. I wanted to try and get to Alton Towers for Scarefest because we haven't been there for absolutely ages. So fingers crossed we might be able to get there. And also uh, we're, <laughs> fingers crossed, trying to get to go to a ghost hunt that's not that far away from where we live. It's quite a local little spooky place. But we have to, I've got to have a word with the owners and 
see how it works because I don't think they allow just regular civvies in. They want professional ghost hunters in there, you know, with all the equipment. I don't have anything except my camera, which is not night vision enabled, which is a bit pants. You know, ghosts come out when it's light as well. Apparently. Crap. Anyway, I just went off on a total tangent now. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm glad that you are are here and watching me being silly again. Um, there'll be more bits and pieces coming up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell and whack a comment in below. Just say, hi Nat, nice t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> that's about it. And I will see you in the next video. You take care of yourselves and have a have a spooked a spooky day. I don't no, that doesn't work, does it? No, never mind. Have a have a lovely day. Or evening. Whenever you're watching this. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.